Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. In today's video, we continue south on US 61 in Clinton County, Iowa, as we enter the city of DeWitt, which had a population of 5,514 as of the 2020 census. Ahead, we'll see a cloverleaf junction with US Highway 30 coming in from the west, and pay close attention. This is the tightest cloverleaf I've ever seen. There's only 200 feet between the gore points of the on-ramp and the exit ramp. Here, we'll begin a one-mile overlap with US 30. Prior to the 1970s, US Highways 30 and 61 intersected at the corner of 11th Street and 6th Avenue in DeWitt. However, new bypasses were opened in 1975, almost completely avoiding the city limits for both highways. On the right, US 30 exits via a trumpet interchange to head east across the Mississippi River into Illinois. Note that the exit number here is 312, which is based on US 30's mileage. Immediately after the exit ramp is mile marker 138, which is back to US 61's mileage. At the Wapsipinicon River, we enter Scott County, the third most populous county in Iowa, with 174,669 residents as of the 2020 census. Settlement here began in 1833 with towns springing up along the Mississippi River. The county was established by the Territorial Legislature of Wisconsin in 1837. Iowa became the 29th state in 1846. Scott County makes up part of the Davenport, Moline, Rock Island Metropolitan Statistical Area, which extends east over the Mississippi River into Illinois.
we enter the city of Eldridge, which is a suburb of the Quad Cities area. Quad Cities, which would indicate four cities, refers to the Davenport, Moline, Rock Island metropolitan area, which is only three cities, but includes Bettendorf, Iowa, and East Moline, Illinois, which makes five cities. The city is named for Jacob M. Eldridge, who arrived in Scott County in 1846. Exit 124 leads to the Davenport Municipal Airport, IATA code DVN. The airport, which dates back to 1948, has been home to the Quad Cities Air Show since 1987. We conclude today's video as we enter the city limits of Davenport, Iowa. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.